So today we will discuss about a very useful and amazing topic which is called as mass defect. So let us take uh, an example. Calculate the mass defect of carbon C612. So how can you find out the mass defect of carbon C612? You know that carbon if you take atomic number 6, mass number 12, so if you draw a carbon atom, it is having 6 protons, 6 neutrons, 2 electrons in the first orbit and 4 electrons in the second orbit. Okay. So let us discuss what is the meaning of mass defect with a beautiful example. Now, I am taking 4 players. I am taking the individual weights of 4 players. His weight is 50 kg. Similarly, all the four people have a weight of 50 kgs. Let us imagine. Four players individually, if their weight is measured, it is 50 kg. But after the game was played, here one person mixed doubles. Let us imagine. They have played a shuttle game. Okay. After playing a shuttle game for three hours, it was found that the weight of four players is 49, 49, 49, and 49 kg. Here the total weight was 200 kg, whereas the total weight here in this case is only 196 kg, where this 4 kg has been lost. The answer for this is, because they have played for continuously 4 hours or 3 hours, a lot of energy has been released from their body in the form of sweat, in the form of heat radiations, and in the form of ejections. Then, as the heat energy has been released after playing for 3 hours, each one player has lost their 1 1 kg. And this loss of 4 kgs is called as defect in the mass according to our nuclear physics. That is 200 minus 196 is that we 4 kg they have lost. This is called as mass defect of the 4 players before the game has played and after the game has played. Now the same thing happens here. To calculate the mass defect of carbon C612, here if you measure the mass of protons, mass of 6 protons if you measure, and mass of 6 protons means 6 into mass of 1 proton is 1.0078 atomic mass units, and mass of 6 neutrons if you measure, it is 6.0087 atomic mass units, okay? If you multiply these two and divide uh, and add them, if you multiply these two and add them, you are getting 12.099 atomic mass units. So inside the nucleus, you know there are 6 protons and 6 neutrons. Individually, by taking protons separately outside the nucleus and separately the neutrons outside the nucleus and if you add the weight of 6 protons and 6 neutrons, it was found to be 12.00, I mean 099 atomic mass units. But shockingly, but shockingly, if you see the mass of carbon atom, mass of carbon, it was found to be only 12 atomic mass units. Mass of carbon atom, which is having 6 protons and 6 neutrons, it should also have the same mass of 12.099, because these 6 protons are present in this, 6 neutrons also present in this, then why the mass has been reduced from 12.099, and separately if you take the mass of completely carbon atom having 6 protons and 6 neutrons, mass is going to be 12. The reason for that is when 6 protons combine to form a nucleus with 6 neutrons. In another way, 6 protons and 6 neutrons combine to form a carbon atom. Some amount of, release, some amount of energy is released in, which is called as binding energy. Some amount of energy is released which is called as binding energy. So you have to remember that. In a nucleus, when protons and neutrons combine, some amount of energy is released. As energy is released after playing, their masses has been reduced. So carbon, after playing with protons and neutrons combination, its mass has been released in the form of energy. And mass has been reduced. Then what is mass defect? Mass defect is nothing but, here you all know, the element represented with jet atomic number and 12 mass number. 
Then, if you want to find out the mass defect, there is one formula. What is that formula? Mass defect means the total number of protons, which is taken as Z here, into mass of protons. Plus, if you want to find out the number of neutrons, you all know you have to subtract mass number with atomic number. So, if you want to find out the number of neutrons, you have to subtract mass number with atomic number. Mass number is 12 and atomic number is 6. So, your neutron number is 6 here. So, to get 6, you have to do A minus Z and multiply this A minus Z with mass of neutrons. And this combination combined together is going to be 12.099. You have to subtract this combination with the mass of carbon atom. With the mass of carbon atom. Then if you substitute the same thing in the formula which has been created to get this data. This is a formula to get this data. And what is this I am going to do here? Mass of protons as 6 into mass of proton which is 1.0078. Plus A minus Z means again 6 into, uh, what is this, uh, mass of neutron, uh, 1.0087 subtracted with uh, 12 here. You know this combination is going to be 12.099 minus 12 and the mass defect you are going to get is 0 0.099 atomic mass units. So this small amount is called as mass defect. How are you going to find out the binding energy? To understand this binding energy, here, you should know that uh, binding energy is nothing but it is a product of mass defect into C square. You know energy is equal to mc square explained by Einstein. This is called as Einstein's mass energy equivalence. E is equal to mc square. That has been modified in nuclear physics and it has been written like this. Binding energy instead of energy, instead of mass, mass defect and this is called as C square. So now, if you want to find out the binding energy, you should know the mass defect, which is already known to us. Yes. So you have to write 0 0.99 atomic, 0 0.099 multiplied with C square, that is 3 into 10 power 9 whole square. The answer you are getting in joules. If you multiply, you will get the answer in joules. But I want to get an answer in million electron volts. Then what I have to do? I have to just uh, take this 0 0.099, multiply with 10 power 9 whole square and if you want to convert 1 joule into electron volts now, I have to divide with 1.6 into 10 power minus 19. Why I have to do that? Because 1 electron volt is equal to 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 joules. So if you want to find out 1 joule here, I have to shift this to electron volts. That means I have to write here, 1 joule is equal to 1 by 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 electron volts. So 1 joule, if I want to convert into electron volts, I have to divide with 1.6 into 10 power minus 19. But I have to write the answer in million electron volts. If I want to convert this electron volts into million electron volts, what I need to do, I have to multiply, I have to divide this with 10 power 6. Once I divide with this 10 power 6, then this all data, if you calculate, you will be getting 0 0.99 into 931.5 because uh, 3.9 whole square divided with all this data will become 931.5 okay, million electron volts. With this we can write a shortcut instead of doing all these calculations I can write uh, energy that is binding energy is equal to mass defect into 931.5 million electron volts. Once you get a mass defect, directly you can multiply with 931.5. You will be getting a binding energy in a shortcut way. Instead of doing all these calculations, you can find out the binding energy that is 0 0.099 into 931.5 million electron volts will be giving you approximately 92.2 million electron volts. So this is called as binding energy. This is called as binding energy because to bind protons and neutrons some amount of energy has been released that's the reason why the carbon atoms mass is less than individually measured mass of proton as well as neutron. Hope you have enjoyed the class. Thank you very much baby.